Hey all, Kanan from Basin Motorsports here. Today we're gonna to do some product testing with Shine Armor in their Fortify Quick Coat. Now initially when Shine Armor sent me a message asking if I wanted to check out some of their products, I was kinda of like, eh, I don't know. I looked at their website and I also looked up what other people had done. Typically it seemed like they were more into exotic cars and to luxury cars. They'd run a piece of tape down the center of the hood. They'd do one in Shine Armor and the other as it was and honestly, I wasn't sold. Now, if you watch a lot of my channel, you know that I'm pretty hard on my cars already. Most of my stuff has a vinyl wrap, and I don't exactly keep a very good job of keeping things washed, like my Suburban. So initially, I asked Shine Armor if they were interested in doing some vinyl wrap testing because this stuff is supposed to be used for glass, metal, paint, and plastic, but it doesn't say a vinyl wrap. So they sent me a bottle and said, give it your best shot, see what it does on vinyl wrap, so that's the, what we're going to do. So I've got three scenarios here we're going to run through using some of the Shine Armor on. Now initially as you spray this on, you're going to spray on a little bit of the coating onto a damp microfiber towel and also on the product or the part you're going to use it on. So they recommend a three foot by three foot section. So what I've got here is two pieces of vinyl. Now if you remember this is off the wide body Mustang I call the Wide Fox and I recently replaced that. So these are scrapped to me but they're a good example of how this stuff is going to react. These are a year old, these two samples. They've already been done with Avery Dennison cleaner multiple times plus sealer. So now this is going to be, will it be a great addition and what will happen? All right, so we'll put some on the damp towel itself. Put some on the piece here. Now it says to wipe it on real quick with a damp towel. and then to wipe it off before it dries with a dry microfiber towel. All right. Now I can tell you from initial feel between them, this feels a lot smoother. You can feel it's got a coating on it where this doesn't. This just feels like vinyl if you've ever felt that. So now I'm going to leave this alone for a week. I want to see how it's going to react. So I'm going to take these off the Suburban, put them in the shop for a week, and I'm going to go get example two we're going to try this on. Okay, so example two we're going to use is a fresh piece of vinyl. Now a year ago I wrapped my wide body Mustang I call the Wide Fox in a color change film. Now this is stuff that's left over, so it's not exactly fresh off the roll but it gives you a great example of if you went to get your car done for a complete vinyl wrap, could you immediately go out and use Shine Armor on it to seal it, kind of clean it, and get it prepared for kind of day-to-day -day use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do half of this in Shine Armor, half and just leave it alone, and then we'll come back a week later and see what happens with it. So again, spray on some here. Spray on some there. I'm gonna give it a wipe. Try to keep it about half. And then we're gonna wipe it off. Yeah, same condition. Now this is you can feel a difference. You can feel that this is much, much. I guess I'm gonna call it slicker. You can just feel a difference in how it feels. But this feels very good, it feels very slick. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both these vinyl tests, I'm gonna set them aside for a week. I wanna make sure that it doesn't affect the vinyl in any way being on there, maybe haze it or anything else. And then we'll come back a week from now and I'll check this out and then I'm gonna spray them with water and kind of see if this really does beat up like I've seen on the internet. All right, so test three is the challenge really for me as the everyday guy. Can Shine Armor do something with my Suburban? Now granted, I haven't washed this thing in four years, and all I said was try not to make sure, or try to make sure, the surface isn't muddy. And really a lot of that has to do with don't smear dirt around your paint because it kind of scratches it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use just this section here that's not really muddy, it's not dirty like that other section over there. It's pretty clean. I'm gonna spray on some Shine Armor here with using my rag and the same thing. 
and then we'll see what it does to see can this really survive in a day-to-day -day environment and a real guy like me so initially we'll spray the rag we're gonna spray the area on here wipe and go quick Let's make a difference, I'll say that. So, I won't say that this is probably not the best situation for Shine Armor to do very well. It's kind of a loaded test against them because this is not a great example of really doing that stuff. If I was really kind of gonna wash this, uh, do a clay bar, and at that point use Shine Armor, I think it'd be a really good solution probably for this. It's not gonna work out here. So what I'm gonna do now is give it one week for the vinyl samples. I'm gonna come back and then we'll do some water testing on this section here against that. You'll probably see a noticeable difference. And then I'll do the two different vinyls to let you know, to answer the question, can Shine Armor survive using it on vinyl wraps? See you in one week. Okay, so it's been one week and we're gonna check now our vinyl samples to answer the question, if Shine Armor can be used on vinyl wraps. Now, if you remember, the first set we did was a year old set that had been clean and sealed before. So we were gonna check to see if, one, the Shine Armor was even gonna stick to it with the sealant and does it have any additional like side effects or anything else, will it matter? Looking under samples, on the left is going to be our sample with the Shine Armor. The right is going to be our test sample that does not have it. So you can see on the right, there's no discoloration as you would expect because nothing is on it. On the left, what I'm looking for is any discoloration up in this pink. I think that would show the most sign of change based on the shine armor. And looking at it visually, I don't see anything that makes me think the shine armor cannot be used on a vinyl wrap. It shows no discoloration, still very smooth and slick as you would expect compared to wrap itself. Definitely a difference. And I'm going to pour some water over it so you can kind of see the difference between one to the other. Okay, so here's our sample, our test sample. You can see water flows pretty well, but it covers it, it, covers it all the way off. No big deal. And here's our sample with the Shine Armor. Definitely a different flow rate. You can just see it's starting to slide off a lot faster than the other sample. And also you can see how much water is left over once you pour the water on. So if you look at this one here, you can see the water is kind of just sitting on it. A lot more water left there, kind of grabbing the surface to where here, there's not so much. You've got smaller, I guess, water droplets, I would say, left on there that's able to flow off better just because of the coating. Again, here's our second sample. Now remember, this is a fresh piece of vinyl. It has never been laid. You can still see it's got the backing to it. The left side of your screen is going to be with Shine Armor. The right will be without Shine Armor. So again, we're going to pour some water across it just to see the difference in flow. There's without it. And there's with it definitely see a difference in how it reacts to the water itself. You can see just on the right hand side how much is left. You've got big water droplets left on there. That's just the coating itself that is left or the sealant, the clear that's left on the wrap. On the right hand side definitely bigger water droplets. You look on the left you can see definitely a lot more shedding of the water. Not much is left and you can see the big drops when they clump together they immediately run right off the wrap with the shine armor so you can see it gives it better protection against water droplets especially after you wash uh, vinyl wrap itself uh, it's, it's going to help shed the water off you don't have to worry about trying to rub uh, all the water off or dry it off so much the shine armor is going to do a great job of helping you get the water off of your wrap so that you don't have to worry about water spotting all right, so the last bit of testing we did, remember we put a little sample on my Suburban. Now, a week later, I've already driven this multiple times, so you can kind of see the tailgate or the tail hatch area is nice and dirty. 
Remember the section here above the Suburban, this has the Shine Armor on it. The section over there does not. So what you would expect to see is that if you pour water down it, the section with Shine Armor is gonna shed off that water very easily because it has little surface tension. The water doesn't have much to grab onto because of the coating. Okay, so the answer to the question of can you use Shine Armor on a vinyl wrap, the answer is yes. I think after a week's testing, it shows a clear advantage, especially over keeping it protected and keeping it easy so you don't have to constantly wipe water off of it. It helps the water run right off and it help with water spotting in that. So now that I know that it is good for a vinyl wrap, I am going to take the rest of the bottle that Shine Armor uh, gave to me for the testing and I'm going to put that on the latest creation coming out of Basin Motorsports. So if you're following the channel, you will see that in probably a week or two, the debut of what is deemed as the Harlequin Rabbit themed wrap on a 2001 Chevy Suburban. Any questions guys on, on using Shine Armor, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Now I do have a link down below if you're interested in looking at some of this, uh, a bottle of it. Now they've got various sizes, uh, they've got some wipes and other things. Check them out there, check the link in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.